14 most dangerous pets to own. You might love these pets, but love does not always conquer all. Most of these pets are naturally a predatory animal. Here are some of the most dangerous animals to keep as a pet. Number 14, Wolf Dog. It may sound a bit made up, but a wolf dog is as straightforward as its name. They are hybrids between dogs and wolves, most especially from domestic dogs breeding with a part of the Canis subspecies of either the red timber wolf, the gray eastern timber wolf, or the Ethiopian wolf. These are amongst the most common of the dog and wolf hybrid species, since dogs are genetically the closest to gray wolves. These kinds of hybrids found in the wild are common in places where there is not a lot of human interaction. What's interesting is that a wolf dog can be more dangerous to own as a pet than a wolf, since wild animals tend to be more reclusive, whereas wolf dogs are not as fearful of humans as wolves and are more likely to interact with them, like domesticated dogs. Number 13. Constrictors. The list of constrictors includes the African rock python, anacondas, Burmese pythons, reticulated pythons, and boa constrictors. These are all large species of snakes that have a nature to kill larger animals, namely humans. If you're familiar with the Florida Everglades, you know that that place is crawling with Burmese pythons. Although it sounds cool to say that you now own a constrictor of some sort, and they're bigger and more fancier looking than other more common pet snakes. It's advised that you stay away from owning one since it's in their nature not to be friendly to humans. Plus, even if your constrictor is on good terms with you, snakes of all types are great for eluding people and escaping homes. So maybe you're not in danger, but someone else could potentially be. Number 12, camels. It's strange to think that this dopey faced creature could be considered as a dangerous pet, but have you seen the size of these things? Just look at those humps on its back. Although they're used quite frequently in the same way that horses are, camels are apparently very volatile creatures. These animals get angry and are said to have quite the temper, even if you don't mind all the spitting they do. Just know that these animals are prone to kicking people and even sitting on them. Despite this, camels are used for transportation and labor in places like Africa, Central Asia, and the Middle East. Number 11, Old World Monkeys. An old world monkey is native to Africa and Asia. They mostly live in environments that range from the savannas to tropical rainforests. But what's so harmful about that little innocent face? Old world monkeys have quite large canine teeth and have been known to cause serious injuries. And like children or just humans in general, they're prone to bouts of tantrums where they can turn dangerous, especially when they hit maturity. So yeah, a little more like humans than we realize. Even so, some old world monkeys are said to be great pets, and the organization Helping Hands even trains black-capped capuchin monkeys to help disabled people. But who else even owns a monkey anyways? Well, more people than you would think, as it's a popular staple pet for the rich. Number 10, scorpions. More people than you know own pet scorpions, like the emperor scorpion in this picture. This is the most common species of pet scorpions. Despite that scary stinger at the end of their tails, the emperor scorpion is one of the largest scorpions in the world, and their pincers are said to be incredibly powerful. So why would anyone want to keep one as a pet? Well, according to the experts, they can be docile creatures and are recommended for people who are starting out owning pets like this. In fact, an emperor scorpion, with its big size, is said to be less aggressive than its smaller counterparts. Just be aware of how powerful they are. Other than that, have fun with your new pinchy friend. Number 9. Coatis What even is a coati? Coatis are said to be closely related to more common raccoons. As you can see here, also known as the Cotamundi, these members of the raccoon family are said to grow about anywhere from 13 to 37 inches long, not counting their tails, which can span as long as the rest of their body. Grown coatis are said to reach up to 18 pounds, depending on it being male or female. They may look rather cute, and in fact, they're said to be good pets, but not for those who aren't ready to get used to its nature. A pet like this should not come with the expectations that it's going to be as docile as a cat or a dog, 
While they are capable of being house trained, their behavior can get a little out of hand. They have relatively simple diets which consist of things like vegetables, poultry, beef, eggs, fruit, and even dog food. Number 8. Tosa Inu the Tosa Inu, or more commonly referred to as the Tosa, is a breed of Mastiff that are from Japan. They are rather rare dogs, but also said to be one of the more dangerous to own. They vary in size, with some being rather massive dogs, but it's not necessarily their stature that makes them so dangerous. Tosas were initially bred as fighting dogs and can weigh up to 200 pounds. They may be dangerous, and it takes a lot of care and training to make sure that the Tosa is as well behaved as it can be. Number 7. Fox. Not just any foxes can be kept as pets. Most common pet foxes are fennex. You know, the ones with the long ears. Or others, such as the Russian domesticated red fox. Fennec foxes are considered very cute animals, which makes them popular pets. And most of the time, they adapt to being around humans just fine. Though, you always have to look out, in case their more primal instinct of the wild takes over. Likewise goes for the Russian domesticated red fox. Though this type of red fox were bred rather recently, these red foxes were the results of experiments that depict just how selective breeding works at its finest. It's the same kind of process that dogs were put through when they were being bred from wolves. Number 6. Ostriches Take a look at this huge flightless bird. Like, really look at it. And look at the way it's looking back at you with that sense of fear-inducing aim. Taking the size of these things too. Ostriches can measure up to 9 feet, while weighing anywhere from 139 pounds all the way to 320. Their screeches and huge talons are something to be reckoned with as well. So, who would ever own something like this? Baby ostriches are thought to be really adorable, but unless you love getting violently chased around by your pet bird, this one's gonna stay on the list of dangerous pets. Number 5. Owls Many homeowners have that fake owl they put on top of their roofs to scare off rodents and other animals that they rather not get their homes infested with. Owls are feared animals in the wild and are known to make food out of smaller animals. But as big as humans are, should we be wary of keeping owls as pets? Well, yeah, they are said to be strong birds. They have sharp talons that can do a lot of damage to a small animal. Number four, alligator snapping turtle. Look at the size of that beak. Alligator snapping turtles are beloved pets, especially for the turtle enthusiast. These are one of the heaviest freshwater turtles in the world, as you can tell here. So keeping one requires a lot of room and accommodation for their natural environment. We all know turtles are quite slow, so the danger of owning one isn't exactly chasing them down or anything. It's actually in their mouths, which can carry quite the powerful bite. And these turtles have been known to cause damage when someone got too close. Number 3. Bears. Again, who wouldn't own a bear as a pet? What draws a lot of people to bears and wanting some as pets isn't just their resemblance to your favorite stuffed toy as a child. Bears are said to be one of the most intelligent animals in the world. They're big and strong, sure, but they're not all brawn. And yet, do remember, while they are clever, a big part of them is pretty brawny. Ask anyone who lives in an area where big bears commonly make their way from the wilderness closer to human settlements. It's not a fun time, and yet people, most of which are trained to do so, own big bears as pets, as they can prove to be quite loyal. Number two, Crocodile Monitor. This reptilian pet may not be the safest of reptiles to own, and call your friend. Crocodile monitors have unpredictable temperaments, and therefore that much more dangerous, since you can never really tell if it's gonna swim up to you and then bite you. They grow up to 12 feet in captivity, which is bigger than any human, or at least most. You probably didn't need to be told. Remember that these are carnivorous creatures, whose large size would be hard to accommodate in a home. And yet, despite their size, it seems that their saliva proves to be one of the most deadly aspects of them, as it is coated with lots of bacteria that causes infections. Number one, big cats. Big cats range from lions and tigers, and there's always stories on the news of someone keeping one of these exotic animals as pets. Sometimes, yeah, they are quite tame and loyal to their human owners, but that is a risky move. Big cats have been known to eat people all the time. Despite that danger, the instance of a big cat as a pet harming their owner is actually quite rare, though not impossible. Depending on where you live and proper licensing, 
depends on what kind of big cat you could own. And it may surprise you, but tigers and lions aren't even the most dangerous of the big cats to own. Leopards are. They are much more stealthy and hostile creatures that like to spend their time in solitude, as opposed to the more socialized lion. If you like this video and you want to see more dangerous animals, check out my other video, 20 World's Most Dangerous Animals. So which one was your favorite? Leave your comment down below. While you're at it, wreck that subscribe button. See you in the next Dynamite TV video.